Heritage Mural at Lebanon High School uh, is LHS senior Leslie Gamapalo Maris's idea. Senior of Lebanon High School and the one behind the, the mural. So one day I just woke up to her class and thought about it for a bit and I was like, I wonder if she would like the idea of having a culture, but I'm like, because I've been talking about it to her lately and I just told her like how I wanted to show our culture stats, not, not because of our food, but also our influence, other people's ways in, in the reason in the age. I don't know, my emotions of happiness and excitement it just took over me. Like it's really happening. My my reality dream becomes come true as I want to leave a mark behind the, at the high school before I go. It's overwhelming. Over time, I got comfortable, and I feel like their stories of how they became artists and the techniques they've been using. The title is called La Colores de la Luz, which means colors of light because. The way the colors represent light always means life when it just like life gives everything a meaning like for example light is given by the sun and the sun back in the Aztecs believed the sun is God but it also represents life itself and together and colors represents like every color has a meaning as well it can combine in something amazing and blends in together like communities, friends, families and more of the, the, the culture itself. I hope it will, that people will see this as, as inspiration because some cultures often been left out. Like for example, some Black Month history and such as, but when it's coming to Hispanics, we often just left out. So I just wanted to show awareness. The, these are nice words. How can we incorporate these words into the studio name? I got paid to do this. I would do this for free for Elizabeth but I have bills to pay. Mm -hmm. That changes everything. So. Supported all of the many members of the community who wanted to contribute thoughts, which I thought was wonderful. We took a lot of the visual information, sorted through it, edited it because there was a lot, you know, and tried to hit the highlights. I know we didn't get everything. And that was another inspiration for the frame, which is gonna be the individual tiles, the one by one foot tiles of which there are 58 opportunities for other people to contribute their thoughts. The, the design was Linda's. I, I was ignoring this because I had other, other things that I needed to work on. And it, it, just, it just fell in, into place. Uh, the, the tiles allows all of the information, visual information, that we could not fit into the mural. Some of the ones I've seen are just excellent. One was painted by like a six-year-old girl. Oh my God. That's true. <laughs> and there's a memorial there to Maria Stone, who is, was just a beloved uh, part of Lebanon. She had a catering business and she had a restaurant in the Laclede County Library. And really she's, just getting a lot of attention because uh, tragically we lost Maria in a, a car accident a few years ago and um, we miss her so much. And we miss her smile and we miss just her sweet generosity and uh, it's been beautiful to have her family members come in and see the painting and also just um, want to contribute to it. So what was the emotional response whenever you're, you and your family heard that Maria was gonna be featured? Well, um, I was in my room and my mom, I could hear her just like, just enjoy and just crying with uh, my family on text messages, just talking about the idea and like what they're doing. And whenever they saw it on the wall, it just meant a lot to us and it was a real honor. Um, in the uh, lower right hand corner of the mural uh, are members of the Harve Harvest Tabernacle Church. So these are people who are part of our community now, and uh, I got really, really fortunate and was able to go to a tamale festival, like right before the mural started. And just being allowed to like come into that community and kind of like um, eat with people and visit together um, just made me think uh, these people uh, ought to show up in the mural's imagery. And, and so they, they appeared there and uh, it just makes sense. You know, so you'll go by and you'll see Arturo and Charity Lopez and Francisca Vasquez, who happens to be the 2023 Tamale Champion. 
Uh, so we're hoping when we have the uh, ribbon cut cutting on April 25th after school, uh, we may be sampling some of Francisca's tamales. So uh, you don't want to miss that. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, and projects. And this is all, of course, contingent upon the generosity of the Missouri Arts Council. So next year, uh, we have the 2024 Globally Strong Culture Fair planned for March 22nd. And so what we really would like to do is this mural, this Hispanic heritage mural envisioned by Leslie Gamapalomares, because it has the continents of North and, North and South America on it, it seems like it lays the prototype for future murals. And so it seems like it makes perfect sense in the year of the next culture fair, and we haven't had a physical one since 2018, to do four more murals. And basically each of those murals is gonna spotlight another continent, another part of the world uh, where students and uh, people in the community are gonna help design the imagery, help have input for the, com the, the imagery, and then have a borders that are specifically designed and executed by students. And so what we're hoping to see is by the end of next year, you're gonna walk up that hallway and you're gonna be taking a trip through the entire uh, globe and making connections back to Lebanon while you're doing it. So it's not just this is on the other side of the world, it's here are some places on the other side of the world and here are the connections right back to the Lebanon community because it's that it's that global diversity that makes us strong and that makes uh, America great and beautiful. Mm -hmm.